Hi guys, today we are going to begin with the first episode of this new video series. As you can see, it's about this game. You are going to code part of this game today, and I'm going to explain you how. Every episode is quick. So, let's begin with the tutorial. First, create a new project and name it as you want. Remove the scratch cat before coding anything. Now let's create a new sprite called player. This is going to be our character in the game. I am not going to put too much effort, but you can create the costume as you want. Also make sure that our character has a gun, because this game will use blips. Make sure that the character head is on the center. Don't put the entire costume on the center, only the head. Now let's put these blocks that you see on my screen under the event that triggers the game. We will use this instead of green flag for future episodes. Great. After this, we are going to create a new sprite. Our game it's going to be a scrolling game, so the map will be bigger at the gameplay. Just draw a map, and make sure that there's enough space to cross between walls. Put the variables in this way, and this will make the map scroll. However, there's a problem, to scroll the map, we need to make it bigger. If we just scroll it like this, we would not have enough space to move our player. But there's one solution, the size. If we make this sprite bigger, we would have more space to walk. But there's another problem, the fencing limit. The fencing limit is a limit of scratch that limits the position of our sprites and the size to prevent sprites off screen. It behaves in different ways for each costume size. Since the fencing only checks the size and position only when we change it, there's a solution. To solve this, we will use empty costume. We first change the sprite costume to the empty one. This empty costume can be as big as we want. Now we will change to the original map costume and data. We have a big map. Play with the size until you get a nice result. And as last step we will put a show block and a go to the back layer block so the player will be in the front. Same for the player sprite, but with the go to front layer block. 
To make our job easier, we will put a temporal green flag event block. And now it's time to test your wonderful work. First let's show the X and Y variables. And change these to slider. Put negative and positive limits. Look, if we change the variable's value, we get this scrolling effect. It's amazing. But this is a scrolling game, not a scrolling image, and a scrolling game scrolls with keys instead of sliders. So let's create four if blocks. Everyone will have key pressed block. I will use the default W, A, S, D but you can use arrow keys if you want. And inside these if blocks we will put change scroll x by your speed. Same for scroll y play with the value until you get the right speed. If the map size is 300, I recommend you to put 8. And that's it. Let's test. Just look, we did it. In the next episode we will add more things. Subscribe, like the video and enable the notifications bell to update your game when episode 2 is uploaded.